Hi everyone, welcome to Lisa Simmons Art. Today I'm going to be working on a 10 by 10 stretch canvas. I've already put a base coat of black on here because I'm going to do a swirl, one of my swirl pours, and I would like to have a lot of black negative space in it. These are the three colors I'm going to be using today. The colors will be listed in the video description. None of the colors have any of the treadmill silicone in it because I don't want any cells. I'm going to be using the back of a paintbrush to make my swirls and my paints are not mixed as thin as I usually do for a paint pour. I left them a little bit thick because it's better to do the swirls. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to be doing a series of puddle pours. I just want to do three puddles. It's okay if they end up touching each other because when I swirl them, you're not gonna be able to notice that anyway. I'm gonna add some black for contrast. Okay, it's all right if it spills over the side. It actually creates some interest. I take the back of my paintbrush and I dip it in the paint and swirl. And as I lift my brush out, I always wipe it off so that I don't spread that paint in my next section. There's no correct way to do it. You can just swirl any way you'd like to. It's fun to experiment with different patterns. When I'm doing this type of painting, I'm really not even thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just letting my mind kind of wander. I don't think of any particular pattern. I kind of like to start from the center and work my swirl outward, but you can start from the outside and swirl in if you like. Another great thing about these swirls is if you're using bottles, you can add paint anytime you like because you can just squeeze it right in and then swirl. It doesn't work like that if you're pouring from a cup, unless you have a really steady hand and you can really control your pour, which I can't. <laughs> I would say using the bottle to add paint would be better. And right now I'm just looking around and seeing if I see any areas where I'd like to add a little something. Like right here, I'm gonna add some black paint so I can do another little swirl here. So I'm actually liking the way this looks. So I'm gonna stop right now. I've achieved my goal of having black negative space, so I'm very happy with it, actually. Uh, I'd like to thank you for watching and stay tuned for close-ups on this piece. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.